Hey guys, it's Ryan, and today we are going over how to clean your bearings. Alright, so these are the things that you're going to need to clean your bearings. Today, I will be using a Bones Bearing Cleaner. Um, this is a little kit you can buy at most ranks, but you do not need this to do this. If you don't have one of these, you can just use a container. A little metal container or a little plastic container will work just fine. The second thing that you're gonna need is rubbing alcohol. Now, this is 91%, you can use 71%, but if it has less water in it, that's better, so 91% we go. If you can find 100%, then feel free to use 100%, but I've never seen 100% before. You can buy this in CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, literally anywhere. Okay, the next thing that you're gonna need is some lubricant, okay? Um, you cannot use WD-40. Do not use WD-40 on your skates. Um, this is especially made for skate bearings. It's called Lynx, Lynx Bones, uh, Lynx Bearing Lubricant. Um, but you can use some other types of machine oil. Um, you can look up exactly what to use online, but I've always used the same stuff. Another thing you're gonna need is a thumbtack or a pin, and I'll tell you guys why you need this later. Okay, so the first step of cleaning your bearings, you need to take the bearings out of the wheels. Today I'm cleaning out my um, roller bones bearings. These are in my outdoor skates, so they get pretty dirty pretty quick. I wonder if you guys can see how dirty it is in the camera. I'm gonna be using this tool. Um, it's also made by Bones. Um, all you have to do is stick it into the bearing and press this button at the same time, and then release the button and pull the bearing out, and it'll automatically pull it out of the wheels. And then you just press the button to release the bearing. See how dirty these are? Okay, so now we have all of our dirty bearings out of the, um, out of the wheels. Our next step, we're gonna use the thumbtack that I talked about in the beginning. And on the front of each bearing, you'll notice that there's like a black piece that says the name of the company that it was made from. And then on the other end over here, you'll notice that there's this circular piece. So this piece right here, you're gonna take your thumbtack and you're just gonna put it into the edge here and pry it up, okay? So this piece on the edge here is just a little rubber guard, okay? Once that pops out, you'll be able to pull it off just like that and you'll be able to see the ball bearings underneath. This circular piece that we talked about before is called a cage. The cage holds the holds the wheels separate separate from another. So once we have this separated, we're going to place it to the side and then we're going to take apart the rest of them. Okay, so when you guys are taking off these rubber guards here make sure you don't bend it because if you bend it when you put it back on it won't go back on correctly and it'll hurt your bearing okay so now we're going to move on to our next step the reason that i like this container over just using a regular container is because on the inside there's this little wing nut right here and what you do let me get this off here. Once you get the wing nut off, there is all these little spacers in here. They look like this. So what you do now is you'll put one bearing on, and then you'll put a spacer, and then you'll put another bearing, and the cycle continues until you run out of bearings, until you run out of spacers. See, look at all that junk on here. Ugh. Okay, 
Then we're gonna keep putting our bearings and spacers on until we run out of spacers. You should be able to do half of your bearings. And then you tighten the wing nut back on. And then you have this cool looking thing, okay? Next, you're going to take your rubbing alcohol and you're gonna pour some into this bottle. Now you should probably fill it about halfway, um, maybe even less, maybe like a third of the way. So let's do that now. Okay, next what we're gonna do is put our bearings in there that are on the stick and tighten our lid down and shake. All right, so we're gonna let this sit for just a minute and then we're gonna go to the next step. For this step, you do need a rag. I forgot to mention that in the beginning of the video. All right, so once you have your rag, get it a little bit wet with some water I wouldn't recommend using rubbing alcohol for this part because we're gonna clean these rubber pieces off. Now, if you use rubbing alcohol, it could dry them out. Um, so I would suggest just using regular water. And then we're gonna go over it and just wipe them off. So as you can see, it is taking the the roller bones logo off of it but that's okay um they don't need to be there i know what they are but you can also see that it is a lot cleaner than the one that we haven't cleaned so once we done cleaning that we're gonna put that over to the side all right so i went ahead and cleaned the rest of my bearing shields um as you can see the rag is pretty dirty. Um, that's just from these little rubber pieces. Okay, now back to our cleaner here. And I don't know if you guys can see, but the water in there is pretty dark. It's getting a little dark. That means that it's cleaning out the bearings. So it's probably about time we take these out. Um, these ones weren't too dirty, so... Um, the water won't get really dark. All right, so now we're gonna open this up and um, we should have clean bearings, which I think we do. And if you guys can see in there, you can see all the, all the little crap that was stuck to all the bearings. So now we're gonna dump this out in a separate container. Let me put that to the side and then we're gonna unscrew that wing nut that is on the front of this. And we're gonna take out our bearings and you can just do this, satisfying. And then we're gonna separate them. You can already see how clean they look compared to what they look like before. So this one only can take eight at a time. So let me, um, empty that container and then we will put the rest in. All right, so we got that emptied and now we have eight clean bearings and we have eight dirty bearings still. So what we're gonna do is put the rest of them onto our cleaner stick here. Oops, missed the spacer. And we're gonna tighten down our wing nut again. Then we're going to add some fresh rubbing alcohol into our container here. That was a little 
much, but that's okay. Then we're gonna tighten this down and do the same thing we did for the first set and shake it up. All right, so we're gonna let that soak for a minute um, and then we're gonna go back to our other ones. So we're gonna take a clean towel and we're gonna dry them off a little bit. The rubbing alcohol should dry pretty quickly, but you don't wanna leave any in there. So just try to dry them off a little bit. It'll also help get off anything that didn't come off in the cleaner. So, as you'll notice now, they spin very nicely. So after our bearings are clean, um, you may notice that they spin longer, but they're also gonna be louder. Hear it? So now, our next step is where we're gonna bring in our lubricant. Now we're gonna put two or three drops. Oh, I missed that one. Just put two or three drops inside the bearing, okay? See how I missed that? It went all over my finger. So now when you spin it, you're gonna spin in the lubricant and it should be a lot quieter. It may not look like it spins for as long, but once you put it in the wheel, it'll spin a lot better. So after we add our lubricant in, they spin very nicely. Our last step is to take one of our little rubber guards here and place it on top of the bearing where it should go. And you're just gonna push it in and you should hear an audible click. There it goes. And now that's in there. And now you have a complete bearing, just like it was when you bought it brand new. Now we're gonna um, complete the rest of these ones, take these ones out, and finish the rest. Okay, so now I have half of our bearings done. I'm gonna put those over here to the side in a nice little straight line there. And now we're gonna take these ones out. So we're gonna shake it up one last time and remove them from our W, um, not our WD-40, from our rubbing alcohol. Put that down right there. As you can see, those ones were also pretty dirty. You can see all that grum and crud in there. Let's put that to the side. Let's take these off of our little tool here. And get rid of these spacers. Real quick, I'm just gonna put them back onto this little stick here so I don't lose them. I've had a few of these bearing cleaners over the years, um, this one particularly, and uh, this is the one that I like the most. Um, that's why I still have it. Okay, let me just get that on there a little bit. Okay, good. So now we're gonna take these out and we're gonna dry them off a little bit, give them a couple seconds to dry. I'm gonna make sure that they're all spinning real quick. Sometimes um, you'll hear like little things in there that most of the time it's just dirt that didn't make it completely out of the bearing when I cleaned it. These ones are all sounding good though. Okay. Let's get it away from that rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna put these over here. I'm gonna put these like this and we're gonna do these all real quick. I'm just gonna put a couple drops in each one Remember, two or three drops, that's all you need. You don't want to overdo it. Then you'll have oil flying out of your bearing um, and making your wheels slippery, and that's never fun. Okay, now I'm going to give them all a little spin to get the, the oil worked into there.
See, you can hear them quiet down as I spin them because the oil is working its way in there. That's what we want. Okay, now that all of those are oiled up, we're gonna add our guards back onto all of them. Okay, now I'm just making sure that they all spin really fast. All right, and we are good. We now have a full set of cleaned bearings. So now what we're gonna do is put them back into our wheels. Let me just close this up real quick so I don't spill any. So these are my outdoor skates. So I do have Zen sonar wheels on here. These do come in different colors, but I chose orange. They go with um, my outdoor skate, which is this one here. So um, you can use your bearing tool if you want to but you don't need to for these wheels. Some wheels that have a plastic hub, this tool comes in very handy. So what we can do is we can just place our bearing on there and just push it in with our fingers and then it's in. Um, same thing on the other side. And there you go, bearings back in the wheels. Now this tool is useful because um, if you have plastic hubs or aluminum hubs, um, you can easily push them in. So once you have it on there, you just put it on and push it in and pull this out. Same thing for the other side. Um, put it in, push it in, and take it out. There we go. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of these real quick. And there we have it. All of our wheels now have bearings. And to move on to... Our last step, we are going to put them back onto our skates. Let me flip this around so you guys can see it better. Okay, so now we're going to put one wheel here, one wheel here, make sure they're spinning all right. They're good, not too much noise coming from them, which is what we want. That's the whole purpose of cleaning your bearings. Then we're gonna put on our nuts here and tighten them down, wrong side. And now we're gonna do the other side. Loosen that one up a little bit. Okay, there we go. And we have a completed skate with clean bearings. Um, don't forget, I do have these van skates for sale. Um, if you guys want to purchase a pair, um, are 100% safe, I promise. I would not sell you guys trash. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I hope it was useful. I hope you guys learned some valuable information from this. And um, make sure you like and subscribe before you head out of today's video. And have a great rest of your night.